Why do you always have a bald head? <laughs> actually, actually, run this question. Mana when you are like, which one are also? It's a mirror. Man. Hey, what's up, Bookers Gang? This is another Saturday, and if you are watching this video, like, comment, share, man. And subscribe. Yes, if you haven't subscribed, this is the time. <laughs> That's the style, man. So today I'm having a guest, and my guest is Melanie V. Melanie V, one and only. Hey, so today you go, you guys are going to get to know me better. She's going to ask me a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Like ten. Like ten questions. Wait, 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 wait. Before you continue, please yeah. subscribe to my channel. The link will be in the description. Yeah. I'm marketing myself. <laughs> the link will be in the description box. Uh -huh. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. So Man. let's get there. Let's go there and subscribe and get her to a thousand subscribers and more. Cindy, yeah. you know what? You know how we do it. We're just hanging out with the V in this house yeah that's my place if you haven't uh, if, you, if you haven't watched that house tour man hmm? then you go and check it out go and check it out man uh it's uh it's it's, it's nice you'll see the whole house the the whole house that V is spending your, your time with life <laughs> which is time, time. your time oh your time <laughs> you're going to know more about me and she's going to ask me questions well, we eat, so we are going to have a mo bang. Like we have ten questions. Ten questions. Yeah, ten. Ah, I think uh, with Netawezanas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, let me start first with this, huh? So, mm. question one: What is your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> most embarrassing moment. Mm. Hey, but the Migi, <laughs> there, there's so, there are so many embarrassing moments that I've gone through. But you, know, you want that the most, the most embarrassing moment that I've ever had. So, uh, huh. yeah, I can remember that this time I was uh, back in high school. Yeah, so um, you understand how people always go to these tuitions, yeah, these tuitions and stuff. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, during holidays, so I went to this tuition. I was back at at, at, uh, at home, yeah. So at Tijon, there's this chick, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so at, at uh, the Tijon place, the school where that you are, we were, we were we used to go, there was this this uh, fine girl. So uh, I had a big crush of this girl, you know. So I had this, I, had, I also had this bike, this bicycle. Basically, yeah. Hey, so one day I was riding this bicycle, and then I saw this chick, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know this uh, stance that people pull, like, yeah. So when I was going to pull this stunt, then all of a sudden, from I uh, just uh, by mistake, I I, I held the that fr the, the, fr the front wheel brake. You know what happens? Man, the bike flipped, and I fell down. Man, it was. <laughs> Oh, it was, hey, it was one of the most. Yeah, man, they, you know, as boy child, as I was trying to get a tear like a scramble, but what? Hey, what about you? <laughs> For me, mm. my most embarrassing moment mm. was when I went to the supermarket. This was, in fact, it was on a Friday. That day, I remember that mm. day. So supermarket on a Friday. What did you go to buy there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, this has happened twice. Yeah. So I was in the supermarket, I was just shopping. V2. I've just, you know, mm. I had even taken the big trolley. Then in the Jaza. I've shopped, I have shopped. Yeah. Then went out to the counter and I was paying. Mm. Guess what happened? My phone was not cooperating. You know, have you ever been in that situation where your SIM toolkit is not working? <laughs> and it's just complicated. It's, yani simu, it's not, you press the press apart, but nothing is happening. See, I don't know if it's the phone or I really don't understand, but that phone was a mess. Imagine I stayed there for like 
20 wow. minutes and the people what what talk kwa line on ngoja because my phone i can't use my phone to pay was it your phone or you need money it had money it had money it was so embarrassing the yeah. way guys are just looking at you it's like you don't have money what on kongalea zile za it was so embarrassing honestly but nearly solve mm-hmm. <laughs> but nearly feel eh hey. so at, 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 even you try to switch it off and on or anything or flight mode nothing it was doing nothing hey. i even oh. slapped it <laughs> <laughs> you went mechanical now <laughs> okay so. okay so mm. question number two. you ha- you said you had two Ama you said you had one embarrassing moment. Embarrassing moments. Only that. You had you had one too. Oh, my, but mine was the of the same case. Mm. They issued the phone and anyway, question number two. Mm. What is your profession <laughs> or what do you do to earn a living? <laughs> profession. <laughs> hey, yeah. Can I say I'm a eater? Huh? <laughs> well, yeah. So my profession. Yeah. I'm a hustler, I can see that. I don't have this, uh, do you call them um, red collar or ruby call them? <laughs> those it's bad right. jobs. Oh. <laughs> that those wow. bad jobs. Eh? Uh, yeah, you so, saw, yeah. So, my job is, I, I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a content creator, yeah, filmmaker, by, by education. Which film have you, is it made or produced? Yeah, I've produced some film. <laughs> yeah, there are, yeah, there's uh, making a film which involves many, many people. But you can be a producer as a person and produce a film. Produced uh, f- a lot of film, but one of them is um, Coffee Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can check it, Coffee Man. They're at Ideal Brothers TV here in YouTube. Leave the link. Yeah, I'll leave the link here. You can check that film. Uh, you leave the link in the description. Yeah, I did that film in 2018, by the way. Yeah, wow. so I've done other films. There's also another trailer there, you see. Then other th- apart from that, I, I edit. I love editing so much. Then I love uh, the I dance. I'm a performing artist, by the way. I Does act, it, I dance. Uh, the, what am I talking just why? Nia Kulipa. What do you do to earn a living? What's your profession? Okay, you're not a profession, but you're not earning a living from it. You're just mm-hmm. doing it. Nini as in to stay down to talk with Zua. Okay, okay, okay. Just talk with Zua. So, hey, I'm going to make a bump bump. Yeah. Which is okay. What um, I do that gives me money. Mm. Yeah, I, I create content for people. Like I shoot videos, maybe, for example, events. For example, I just shoot video for people. Events, wedding birthdays, you know, I also photos. I also work online, by the way. Hmm. Yes. I, uh, that's one of the, my main ones. Yeah. Why do you do online? <laughs> Why I do online? Um, online, I also create content for people. Like, I can write for you blogs. I can write for you. I can do some research for you. Yani, be your research assistant. Yani, you're doing everything. <laughs> like, I said, like I said before, I'm a hustler. Hey, that's, my, that's my profession. That's, you ask me that what's giving you money? I hustle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for me, I earn a living yeah. because I'm just living. We <laughs> just existing. Yeah. We just living. Just living. Okay, okay. Oh, how many minutes did I miss? I didn't miss But then this chicken is sweet, but so spiced, as in mm. wow. it's hot. Hey. Yeah, it's hot. Number three, two things people don't know about you and they can't imagine. Hmm. Three things people don't know about two me. Things. Two things. Two mm. things. It's better is two. Because three is very, very, <laughs> very tight. But sorry. Three things. Two things you don't know about me. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Like I think one of the things I wanted to be be a priest, by the way. Yeah, a Catholic priest. I'm a priest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be a priest. Like honestly, from my heart and everything. But mostly started when I was in uh, primary school because I used to see those robes and I'm like, Ooh! and I used to be an altar boy, you know, serving the mass beside the priest, yeah, you know, such kind. Remember the, the days when you used to go to church? 
<laughs> yeah, there were, there were those days when I used to go, when I was a, a full Christian, a believer, you know, in the faith. So, yeah, I'm still a believer in the faith. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to be a priest for a long time. Then just some stuff happened. Wow, this is hot. <laughs> <laughs> then just some stuff happened and uh, I just left that stuff. That um, road. Yeah, because of some priests that. Imagine it was supposed to be a priest that I left. It was the nice. It was a nice thing for me. Do you want I mean, to say it was the nicest? <laughs> <laughs> you know, English, English, and me, we are just uh, not brothers. I think we are uh, like mass and everything. Mm -hmm. And now it was very awesome. And uh, the first thing that wanted, made me want to be a priest is because of the robes. Those, you know, those elegant robes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to just want to wear this elegant robe and everything. But at some point. I just changed that man. Like, what happened? Uh, there's this priest. Hmm? I, will, I will not mention names here. So, we are, this, this day it was uh, our day, the altar boys' day, mm -hmm. St. Stephen's Day. Mm -hmm. So, we were having this uh, celebration and doing and having some nice parties and everything. And after that, we decided to go and take photos. Mm -hmm. So, when we went to take photos, we decided to take photos at uh, the church, inside the church. Uh, but we we crossed the line. We we went and also just took photos on top of the altar and everything. We also took out some clothes, the old clothes that priests don't wear anymore because those one people <laughs> people acting in those clothes. So we didn't see any big deal. Yeah, people act. You know those old clothes that are made for acting mm -hmm. for that. They're priests clothes, yes. But so we took those clothes and uh, we were having photos on the altar with those clothes. A uh, priest was very mad and he fired everybody. Every other body. But we decided to apologize. We apologized. Everything was good. Man, what really hurt me is this same priest was caught in a very bad scandal. I was mad. I was like, this priest too told us that you are you yeah, holy. yeah do we, they had to call the bishop to come and bless the church again. Something like that, you know? Mm. Religion is crazy, man. Yeah. Finally, finally. I don't wanna say Mati, they had to that you we uh, the altar boy since we took photos on the altar with those some clothes, those sort clothes. We disconsecrated. Is that is that the word? The the, the altar. Know. So they mm -hmm. had to consecrate it again. Ah. He really be and then the, the same person is going to a scam. So I just left. Yeah. Wow. That's one thing. So you only decided for priests. Oh. That is how you I never. I'm sorry now. Yeah, I'm just uh, having a normal life. You should life. think about it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I have so many reasons why I did not be pleased. There's so many, but I'll just talk about that one. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, another thing that people don't know about me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a dancer. I people know that. <laughs> but you don't look like one. Now, yeah. actually, mm. no one can imagine that you are actually a dancer. Yeah. It's a very nice thing. I'm even shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice thing because mm -hmm. when you get to the, to the stage, people don't expect you to dance much. But when you just bass one move, <coughs> The whole crowd is on you like, oh, what else I am? Everybody just want to hang out with you now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Anyway, so the next question, please. Those are the um, two things people don't know about me. People don't imagine that, that I'm a dancer. Actually, you don't look like one. Like I could choke at Yeah, but I'm fit. I always uh, do my morning runs and everything, you know, and my, and my yeah. workouts. Yeah. That's a good thing. And also, I also when I train grow people. up, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> so, on to the fourth question. Yeah. Why do you always have a bad head? <laughs> actually, actually, run this question. Mano when you are like, which one are also? It's a mirror. Man. Why do you always shave your head? Guys, is that not a this? Why you always <laughs> bad head? <laughs> I'm not body shaming, shaming him, no. <laughs> It's, no, a good, like it's a good question. Today, uh, uh, you wanted people to know about me, so let me tell you. My, um, I have these strong genes of uh, balance in my family. Ah. My dad, <laughs> my grandfather. Wow, it's crazy. Even my other siblings. <laughs> Your hair like Nikwapa. Hair like Atiapa. Nikwapa. Atta Iko. So I just that's why I just did, did, took this style, you know. And plus, you know, I have this classy beard, you know. Classy. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> talking of classy, there's this day that um, I was just walking around, then uh, I saw this some guy I know. Yeah, so I can go there from a distance. You know what <coughs> this guy said? Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, boy! I thought this was just a mask. <laughs> Man, this guy. <laughs> So this guy thought that this classy beard is a mask. Yes, I this. Yeah, what I see. Actually, I've done this to you. That guy. What is that in the mask? Imagine. But I think the guy was maybe dissing me as well. I mean, those, those are not playable. I don't know if you know. You know? But it's okay. Some people call me the cross, you know? So that is why because you shave you. your head. Yeah, I shave my head because of the, the bad... Uh, my hair life starts from here. So take you at twelve and then like I wanna like mm, that's a good question. I did second That's not the main thing. You know, if you know you always go for something that you you look good in, you know? Mm-hmm. Even after if you know you yourself be you, if you want to do your hair, you know? You always choose something that you feel hey, this style will fit me, you know? You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so like uh like that, I just chose this style, it's something that makes me feel good, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, what thing? Pop Jay Puchoni. Yeah, that you are in a woman, but it can be the So, the fifth question Have you ever been in a situation and you're in a war? Leon, you like you're just dead, dead, dead. Dead. Wait, my there's that, there's nothing I fear like that thing, man. You fear death. death. Huh. I also fear death. It's just like, like you don't know, you don't know, you know. You don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I can I can remember the moment that I felt like I was dying. This day, I was with the, my friend Majiwa. Mm-hmm. You um <laughs> at that time mm-hmm. <laughs> we we were working in this school. We were teaching you. Know? Um. For this drama, music, and stuff. So we had our first paycheck. Mm-hmm. Man, we decided to treat ourselves. Uh, so we said, ah, man, can we just go to Thika? There's some place we knew that we wanted to go and eat something. Thika? Yeah. There's some, we knew some. The manager told me that he knew some place that we could go and just mm-hmm. eat something nice. Uh, so we left. So the bad thing, the, the mat, any mat to Tulipanda. Imagine the quail and the shawana levy um bias um the guy was very drunk, the driver. You didn't know? We didn't know anyway. We just realized when you know the the funny thing, we were sitting on the front seat. Like you see the the, the two seats in front. But you and I were sitting on the Your front friend. Seat. Yeah. Hey. So this guy was very drunk. The guy was driving like what this <laughs> Man, you know, think is a long way from town, you know. It's uh, it's a, uh, I'm like, like how long? From town? I don't know. Maybe um, 45 minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I know, the main, that's the matter too. It's like 45 minutes because they're dropping people in. They're taking time. You're not around now. You're in your thicker. Jenna called me, if he's carved. So, the guy. Ah, I didn't know. And they could go to a jam. Mingi. So, guy, this guy was just swerving. Go get his new baby. Woo! Ooh, I, I, man, I felt like man, this this day I was going, I was going to die. <laughs> when we we got to talk to the sugar B or like we got we got the journey was in the and the layer, but we don't know if you figure. Hey, we gonna make it up. We can't barely go to make matters worse. I wow. felt so. Ooh. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever been close to death. Maybe ah. I don't know. I've never slept, and then you feel like you can't move and and uh, you feel like your heart is pumping you never had experience of such a thing? Yeah. Friend, go get shit <laughs> Sixth question mm. Have you ever bribed someone like for favors or anything? Bribing someone? Corruption? Mm. I don't do corruption <laughs> Bribed uh, people a couple, a couple, uh, many times I'll, I won't be shocked because me like <laughs> I've bribed a number of people but imagine they are the only party is mm. I started, uh, I started, I started bribing people when I was still a um, altar boy. I was a 
seriously when you are <laughs> a priest. When I wanted to be a priest. You know these big masses like for the bishop and everything. Yeah, those are big masses and they are it's nice, uh, there's food, and, you know, it's good. And people are many, you know, you want to, you want to see people, you want to see people, you're walking in there with your robe. <laughs> hey! So at that time, at some point, we used to bribe those guys, those leaders to to give us a chance to serve the masses. Because, you know, you're like, you can't serve all of you. You're like maybe 40, and only 8 of you can serve the mass. It's a masses, it's a mass. You're a bishop, it's a good time. So we used to bribe those leaders to give us a chance to serve. You have to give them money or what? Maybe you, know, you, uh, you come to church on Saturday and the mass is, is, is Sunday. That night, no, nobody offers you food by the way there. You know where we are used to serve. You bring your own food, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how bad my that thing is. That's why I decided I don't want to be a priest. Maybe I could be change things. That's why we call it that food. No. So you bring a lot of food and then you call that guy maybe. Hey, man. Can you come and uh, eat with us, you know? Your main name is your bishop, your bishop, and you want to serve that mass or police. I've bred police a couple, yeah. Police, I've bred police one or two times, yeah. Also, I have done it, I won't lie, but don't be corrupt, it's bad. <laughs> oh, but I have mm -hmm. once though, because we call a buyer. Now, actually, I was in a hurry, I, did, I didn't want to like. Process Mingiani, so me just bribed him. Mm. I share too. That is so easy. Then I mean, because I was in a hurry. Bure, there's no mistake there, by the way. But you thought you were a Christian. Hmm? Why bribe me? That too. Nah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Question seven: Between swimming and going for a movie, you take a gun. I think that's an obvious question. You know, <laughs> what's funny? It's about swimming, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know how to swim. Oh, imagine. My eyes are magical. If you go to the pool, everything splashes out. We had a water. So. I don't know how to swim. I've tried to learn how to swim so many times. You know, I've tried to learn this. Uh, I started with a swimming pool. You know, it was not happening. It was like physics. <laughs> I give a try. It's not happening. So, because I'm ah, okay, maybe it's a swimming pool. It's so small. Because I'm let me try a lake. You know, because Lake Victoria. You know, <laughs> what? Well, this is a true story, by the way. What? Yeah. Lake. There's, a, there's a time we went with my, our friends to chill uh, somewhere, some place in Lake Victoria, and we went and tried to. I decided to just learn swimming in the lake. Man, same thing, physics, nothing. I ain't gee. Maybe the ones. Maybe the ones who are teaching you are just Wanarakisha. Because imagine it's not hard. I also don't know how to swim so well, mm. but I can do some. You know, they are like, me as a swim, yes, mm. but since it's a man called perfect, I'm not that perfect. Because mm. at deep end, no. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> never. Mm. I can't. And I uh, prefer watching, man. I love watching movies. I love watching movies because I learn a lot from movies, mm -hmm. apart from the, enjoy the enjoyment. Yeah, I'm enjoying oh. it. That's why you call it English. So now we know you. Five famous people would you invite for dinner and why? Famous people. Mm. But they be alive or just any famous person? Even who has ever been the past? Obviously, let's go for alive. I'm a, yeah, at a past. There are some people in the past that you have, who died, but you, you they are famous. You know? So, me, first person I'd invite for dinner. Hmm. 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 Let me start uh, with the. Uh, start with Kenya, your country. Kenya, my country. Yeah. So the first person in Kenya I'd like to invite to dinner, Celeb. I mean, I'd, love, I'd love to invite Abel Mutua. Why? For dinner. Man, this guy is funny. You, when you meet this guy in person, this guy is just this, is real. He's the same guy. He'll make you laugh. He's a good story, Mingi. Abel Mutua. That's one person in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And second person I'd invite, I'd invite Alicia Keys. Wow. Oh. For dinner. Why? Man. First, 
Shakiz plays the piano so well. Very nice. You know, dinner time. You know, when the piano can be played for at dinner time, it can be awesome. And when Shakiz goes, she's beautiful also. Another person I'll invite for dinner is to park. Man, that that is a legend. I love some of his lyrics. He was another real guy, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. another person I'll invite. Mm, who's around you? Abel Mutura, Tupac, and Shakiz. Two left. Mm. Yes. I think I'll invite Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, the actor. Hey, man, that guy is a legend. Yeah. Those are four. I have four Metosha. And then meet a quarter five. There are five actually. Minutes, Tupac, I'm Abel Mutua, and Shakiz. Well, Freeman. Yeah. I think plus me, there's another celeb there. We just be five. Hey. Uh, number nine, which Kenyan artist do you like? One Kenyan artist that I like. Which Kenyan artist do you like? Like, still as me, Queen Moja. First, me, I love melody, you know? Mm. Like I told you before, like piano and stuff, mini melody, melodic stuff. Hey, so, one of my favorite artists in Kenya is uh, this guy. The guy who sang um, Uma, Uma, Uma. Kelechi. Yeah, Kelechi Africana. Ooh, that guy, uh, Anaiba Fiti. And then the funny thing, some of his songs he produces for himself. Wow. You know, it's interesting. So I love Kelechi, I love Sauti Soul, man. It's good. I love Willy Pose, you know. <laughs> the, guy has, the guy has talent, you know. Yeah. Mm. So those are my, like, yeah, and Omolo. Calligraph. Hey, yeah, Calligraph. Yeah, Manzeo. Yeah, big up for your nomination or G himself. But I love that guy. That guy is wow, he's a he's a beast in rap. He's a beast in rap, man. You know, since okay. nineteen years since years ago. Anyways, anyways, yeah. The last question have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been arrested? <laughs> man. There's this day I was this police, this, this policeman wasn't uh, wanted to arrest me for nothing. I was okay along the street. It was a night though. <laughs> mm, a night around uh, maybe midnight. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it was too late though. Uh, midnight. You're walking in town. What are you doing? We're mm-hmm. loitering. <laughs> but anyway, I was doing nothing. I was just walking home. You get up on a matatu. You got on a police. The funny thing, I got police moja, and there was a van, man. The van you got a police in Kinekada. No, Grand Tiger even. So police are and they believe that Kijana, we don't know you are going to So, wow, this But they are you that you are going to So this guy wanted to arrest me at Arabia. Hey, good use of women who Man, you know, I was not, I was doing nothing, but I had to bribe this guy to near the home. And then the funny thing, he wanted to. Take all my money, and I mean, I really give you your nation. Yeah, but you say a lot of money sometimes, man. It's a long story, I'll tell you another day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did, I could not break myself out of that. So, what about you? Have you ever been arrested? No, no, no. Imagine I've never been arrested, as in never completely. Me and I see the police station in a cage. Well, I see Jangia personally, no, I have never. Are you a Kenyan? And I think maybe you're not mean. You know, when a young, when a young boy child in this country, mm. man, there's a, you must have been harassed by a policeman. Personally, I'm a good, I'm a very good citizen. <laughs> responsible one. Yeah, I'm very responsible. <laughs> I quarter sherry and that's it. Yeah. Mm. So, My those are the ten questions. Hey, yeah, man. Well, some questions were well, okay. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed man, make sure you subscribe right now. And uh, also go and check out Melanin V. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe to our channel. To mm. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure, make sure you watch that 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 film that I told you about. Yeah. At Ideal Brothers TV. It's called Coffee Man. Very good film. Guys, it was nice having you V. Thank, Thank you so you. much for hosting me. Yeah, I'm like, hosted um, you, you're you hosted me in your channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, hosted, you have hosted me in your house. Yeah, okay. So, thank you so much for joining us today. It was nice having you. Till next time, guys. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Boom, ciao.